In this video, we will learn how to fix API-MS-Win-Core-LibraryLoader-L120.dll is missing error Photoshop on Windows 10. So, so to let's fix this error, what you need to do is just go in the description and there will be a link to this site. Just go and open it. Once you open it, just go and download first the 32-bit DLL file. And the download will start shortly. So just go and start download. And once you have downloaded the 32-bit file, now download the 64-bit file as well. So in this video, we will be solving the issue for 32-bit as well as 64-bit. Meanwhile, it is being downloaded. First, we need to check out what kind of system we have. So to check out what kind of system we have, either it is 32-bit or 64-bit, just go to your start. Type in for this PC. So once this, this PC appears, just go and right click it and go to properties. Once the properties are open, again the system type, you can see what kind of system we have. So now first we would solve the problem for 32 bit, then we would go th and solve the problem for 64 bit. So we have downloaded, it would be in the download section. Here we have in the compressed. So unzip it. So this one is a 32 bit because we downloaded 32 bit first. So extract it. Now extract the 64 bit as well. So we have successfully extracted the both. Now first we would solve the problem for 32 bit. For 32 bit, just go to your 32 bit folder, copy the 32 bit file copy it. Now go to C. Here go to users. Sorry, go back, go to windows. And here search for system 32. Scroll down below. And here we have system 32. And paste the 32 bit DLL file here. Just go and paste it here. And click on continue. And if it says it is already there, just go and replace it. So we have solved the problem for 32-bit system. Now we would solve the problem for 64-bit operating systems. So for the 64-bit operating system, first we need to copy the 32-bit DLL file. That is already we have copied it. So we have copied the 32-bit DLL file and now we have to paste this 32-bit DLL file in the same windows directory in sysvow64 folder. So here we have sysvow64 folder, open it and paste the 32 bit DLL file here. Click on continue and replace it if it is already there. So now after pasting the 32 bit DLL file in sysvow64, now copy the 64 bit DLL file, copy it, go back to windows and now go to system32 and paste the 64-bit DLL file here. Paste it here. Click on replace. If it is already there, click on continue. So now you have solved the problem for 64-bit operating system as well. Just go and restart your PC. In case if you have any confusion, I would paste the instructions in the description as well as the download link. Hope it has helped you. But before you go, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.